Hi guys, it's your girl B. Michelle coming at you with another video. So I'm going to be showing you this, this lamp. These lamps were gifted to me by a friend um, and I've had them for um, a couple of years. They've just been sitting in the garage and I knew I wanted to do something with them. So I finally decided to go ahead and do something. So I'm going to be uh, painting these white and I used the uh, Rust-Oleum white uh, spray paint. I can't remember exactly which um white it was but it was rust-oleum i think i want to say blossom white but i'm also going to be covering it with some glitter and these are going to be basically christmas lamps for me so i'm just going to um, go over this part with some mod podge and some glitter so i'm just spreading the mod podge evenly around this little um circle globe looking section here and I'll follow up with some glitter. I followed up with some glitter and you can use as much as you want. You can do multiple coats if you want, but I'm actually just gonna do that one coat and that was fine for me. I actually liked the way it turned out. So uh, one coat was just fine. And this is some white glitter that I got from Michaels. Once I had it all coated, I shook off any excess and I set it aside to let it dry so I could move on to the lampshade. So the lampshades, um, they were pretty busted up. They just needed to be replaced, but I knew I was going to cover them. So I just added some coats of paint. Um, I should have sprayed it a little bit heavier around those parts where you could still see the original color because I can still kind of see it once the lights are on, but it has like a pinkish hue. So with these beads, um, I originally thought I was going to keep them on there and use them, but I didn't like the way they looked once I painted them. They were kind of stiff and they didn't dangle as well. So I decided to just go ahead and cut those off and you're not going to see where those beads would have been anyway once I cover this lampshade. So once I had all of my beads cut off, I used some tinsel garland to wrap around the lampshade to give it a, a different, fresh look. So this is why I call them my Christmas lamps. So with the garland, I just used some hot glue to wrap these on the lamps. So I just laid down some hot glue and I placed um, a row of the tinsel garland. And I just went around the whole um, top of the lampshade um, maybe two or three times using the hot glue and then I uh, skipped using some of the hot glue and just wrapped some of the garland around and then I used hot glue just sparingly throughout the rest of the um, lampshade but once I got to the bottom I made sure that I did the same method as I did with the top with using the hot glue for a couple of rolls to make sure that it stays in place and I just used my scissors to kind of press that down so I wouldn't burn my fingers and that was pretty simple. It's a very easy, quick DIY. If you have some old lamps um, that you want to give a fresh look, this is an idea. You can do other things to give your lamps a different look. Um, you can give them a coat of paint. You can add you some gems, um, get a different lampshade. In this case, I'm keeping the same lampshade. I decided to paint it, or you can paint lampshades as well. Um, I decided to paint it and cover it with this tinsel garland. Uh, just to give it a fresh look and as you can see it's a very simple process and let me know in the comments if you would use these lamps outside of Christmas because to me they give off a Christmas vibe but from a distance they also kind of have like a shaggy carpet kind of look lampshade so I mean I guess if it didn't have the sparkle from the tinsel garland it probably would be okay for me outside of Christmas who knows I don't know I don't know what I would do past Christmas but basically that's my intent just to have them out for Christmas but 
you know, you kind of get used to your decoration from Christmas being around and you don't want to let it go sometimes, but sometimes you do get tired of seeing it. So, you know, just let me know in the comments on whether you would use uh, these lamps outside of Christmas or will they only just be Christmas lamps? And I did get this tinsel garland from Walmart. I did have to use more than one pack on each lampshade. So I had a total of three um, packs of the tinsel garland. So I used, um, I guess, a half a pack on, well, actually, I didn't even use a full half. So I just continued to finish the bottom part of the lampshade. And I used the rest to cover the second um, lampshade plus a whole pack. So it was a total of three and I still had some left over um, once I covered these lampshades. And around the bottom, like I said, I used, made sure I glued that down really good to make sure that this stays in place. And then I just cut where I wanted to stop and I just made sure that it was glued securely um, to make sure it doesn't unravel. And it should look something like this. You can see all the different sparkles that this tinsel garland puts out. So it's really pretty to me, but it does definitely have that Christmas vibe in my opinion. So this is the final look, you guys. Uh, I really love the way these turned out. And as I said before, you know, when I painted my lampshades, I didn't, I should have painted it a couple of more coats because you can see that kind of pinkish kind of hue that the light is throwing out. But I do have two different types of bulbs in these. So one, it looks a little different from the other. Um, but anyway, I love the sparkle. I love, I just love the way they turned out. These are my Christmas lamps. And I'm also going to show you, I added a snowflake um, to the lamp um, itself. And just to give it more of a Christmas vibe, I didn't show that part on camera. But all I did was took one of the snowflakes from the, um, the ornaments from the Dollar Tree and I use like a wrap, um, like a bread tie, or you can use, use like a zip tie and just uh, connect it to the lampshade where you can remove it off if you don't want to have it on there. So I didn't glue anything down, just kind of tied it on there. So yeah, if you like these lamps, you know what to do. Give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments on whether you would use these past Christmas or not, or if they would only be Christmas lamps. And you guys, I really, really, really want to thank you guys for the 100K subscribers. I could not have done this without you guys. I never imagined my channel growing to that extent. Um, we're just doing little Dollar Tree DIY stuff. I never imagined it. So I appreciate each and every one of you guys for subscribing to my channel and your support. I really, really appreciate you. And you guys... There's a lot of changes going on with YouTube. I really don't know what the future holds with YouTube and I'm continuing my channel. So I do thank you for your support. I'm, I just have a lot of uncertainties because this video should have been posted a long time ago. But when I started seeing all these different changes, I just kind of stopped with posting anything. And I just don't really know what direction to move in at this point. It's affecting, I mean, it's affecting every YouTuber, certainly, but it's about the COPA laws, the FTC and the child, um, about the laws, about the children's content. I know I don't actually make content that's uh, for children, but I don't know what the FTC would consider children's content or just family oriented content. Of course, I don't use any swearing or anything like that in my video. And I certainly don't want to speak negatively about a situation that I don't know all the details on. So I'm just trying to research this myself and find out more about it. But I do have some uncertainties. But like I said, again, you guys, I don't know what the future holds. And I just want to thank you guys for your support. And for growing my channel and just supporting me and I appreciate each and every one of you and I just want to thank you thank you thank you for your time and until next time you guys love you guys bye